The uh, black and white videos uh, priced between eight and ten thousand pounds, and the long form between uh, thirty and fifty thousand. I think there'll be quite a, a significant amount of interest, and this is a field where we're going to have a crossover interest. So we have people that are interested in ballet and the performing arts, as well as people that are experienced NFT collectors. So you know, one of the exciting things about the sale is that we're basically bringing two worlds together, three worlds even. We have you know traditional art collectors, we have enthusiasts of uh, ballet and the performing arts, and people that have strong conviction in NFTs and and cryptocurrency, so we expect a result that will reflect the level of interest. The buyer gets ownership of the performances and the associated uh, videos. I think one thing to bear in mind with NFTs is that a lot of people think that um, the video or the image is actually what's being sold. It's actually the ownership of it. Obviously, you can go to an art gallery, you can enjoy and experience an artwork, you can then go to the souvenir shop and buy a reproduction of it, but you only truly own something when the person that created it ascribes the ownership to you. Looking at the video, even saving the video on your computer doesn't equal ownership. Ownership. ownership equals the creator allowing you to, to, to own the actual artwork. And that's what's revolutionary about NFTs.